Okay, so we've got a huge amount of spirits to talk to, but just briefly. I did loads of crafting and now everyone has giant healing potions of some kind. I got loads for Red Prince and for Iphen. But as for everyone else, my two undead only have one each. Because we've not actually found that much stuff for them. Seriously, it's combining them all and halving the amount you've got, but getting a bigger potion every time. Anyway. Oh yeah, and of course, Red Prince has sold everything and I'm incredibly rich. But I've yet to come across someone who's selling lots and lots of good loot. So, let's begin. You are Leonard Rawl. You are a godwoken and a thief. You keep your secrets well, even from yourself. Um. Carefully pick my way in. It's going to get zero, isn't it? Yeah, there's that stat that I don't have any points in. His mind closes to you as it closes to itself. So, that stat that I don't have any points in is. Oh, which one is it? Uh, persuasion. Does anyone actually have any points in persuasion? You do. Just you. Okay, right. You have a chat with him. You are Leonard Rawl. You are Force him into my memories. Needed three. Okay. It closes to you as it closes to itself. So none of them can convince him to actually tell me anything. Okay, what about Spirit of Candor? The ghost's memories slip easily into your mind. His name is Candor, and he thinks he's ready to ascend. He thinks he can be Godwoken, ready to step up should Lucian lose the war. Well, Lucian's dead, isn't he? I'm getting a bit confused with all the names they're throwing around here. He's wrong. He'll die. He did die before he even made it to the Chancellor to ask for permission to fight in the Arena of the One. And what's more, he was murdered. Let's find out more about this, which I'm guessing it means by delve deeper. You are Candor, and you are, you believe, ready to step up. Your tutors disagree, but you want the Chancellor to hear your case. Instead, you find a man you've never met, a great and powerful sorcerer. And as his shadow falls upon you, you realize that this is Lucian the Divine himself. He gives you a smile of the utmost benevolence and grace, and you realize, as Candor, that you are far from ready. You turn and flee towards the library to warn your tutors, but Lucian is too fast. He cuts you down. Your candor the Godwoken, dead by the hand of the Divine. A hunger rises deep within you, a desire for his source. This yearning is not yours, but it demands satisfaction. The hunger dies away, for now. Hmm. So, if I'm remembering this correctly, Lucian the Divine is the one who is... Well, the divine before me. Yet, apparently the last thing he did was going around and killing everyone. And wrecking things around here, which sounds a bit odd. The spirit of a rather old man dodders around, seemingly oblivious to the condition of the room. He turns and offers you a genial smile. Ah, a new student. I admire your enthusiasm. But I'm just about to close the gallery for the evening. You'll have to return in the morning. Um, yeah, it's no student, it's not night, and this gallery of his is a little more than ashes and rubble. The ghost frowns with confusion, then wags a reprimanding finger at you. You're new, so I won't report your insolence. But you had better learn some manners if you hope to make use of the gallery. All the powers that a god woken needs are documented in these tools. The gallery is the most important part of the whole academy. Well, the last episode, I went and looted around everything, and I didn't actually learn anything at all. So, I think everything useful around here has been stolen. Which means it's somewhere else. Which means I need to find it. I will not allow it to be disrespected. Well, I know who he is, and I also know what this place is, so I'm just going to take my leave on him. I don't think he's been very useful. Um... That was the guy we spoke to already. It's kind of annoying these guys actually walk around a lot, but... An elegant and intelligent looking lizard. She gives you a haughty look, then turns away. Oh. The hunger rises deep within you. I'm not going to waste the sauce, so... The oh, stop that. Dies away for now. See? That actually told me a little bit more about where this hunger's coming from, and it's the god that I'm actually supposedly following. She needs the source pretty bad. Now, 
this does make me wonder, is that a bad thing that I'm actually saying no every time? Is my god going to die from not getting enough source energy? I hope not. Come on now. Back to the student's hall. Oh, that's him again. Okay, hang on. Okay, I've not spoken to her or... Her memories flow into you as water to a stream. You are Tarian Grey. You are Godwoken, but you will not be divine. You know this because you are in love with a colleague and rival. You are in love with Redolus, and he is in love with you. You have agreed to leave the Academy together, but now Redolus is missing. Redolus went to see the Chancellor, and you have not seen him since. You're on your way to the Chancellor's chambers when a man's voice calls your name. Lucian the Divine cups your chin. Well, Raylus may have gone missing, but judging by the minimap, he's actually in the room next to me, so... And a gentle pain Dead, of course. Your heart. Lucian smiles at you, and then is gone. And you worry so for Redolus. Um... Allow the understanding that she's dead and seep into their soul. Believing it comes from her own mind, she realises the truth. She was murdered by Lucian the Divine. Redless too must be dead, or he would have come for her by now. She bows her head and cries. She knows Redless went to see the Chancellor in his chambers. She did not know that Lucian was already there. She weeps. So, that means that the chambers are actually here. Right, now what did that say here? We have discovered that Lucian the Divine came to the Academy shortly before his death. While he was here, he killed all of the prospective Godwoken and Masters who taught them. And the spirit of a Godwoken initiate called Tarion Grey desires to know what happens to her lover, Raedalus. Perhaps we can help her. Now, there are levers to this, but... If I can... I'd rather just do that rather than having to mess around with levers. And that told me, we open the door to the Academy Chancellor's secret chamber. You say secret chamber, it's kind of on my mini-map. I wish if Samoa was actually secret, it would make it, you know, very secret. And you've kind of saved the game for me here, which makes me wonder. I mean, there's a reliquary down there. Actually, a couple of places we can actually pop down to actually loot things, which is nice. But, uh... Well, there's dead you. So let's just talk to you for a moment. His memory comes to you like hound to master. Your name is Redless, and you are Godwoken. But you know that you can never be divine. You are in love with Tarion, your rival, and that love makes you weak. A lizard and a human? Ugh. You hear rumours of a god king who would free you to be with Tarion. You seek the Chancellor's knowledge of this king, but when you find the Chancellor, he lies dead. A figure stands over him. Lucian, the great divine. He smiles at you and bids you approach him. He lays a hand upon your shoulder, and his blade slices your gut. As you fall, poor Redless, you know that you will never see your Tarion again. Uh, show him where the spirit of Tyrion may be found, given the belief that he is free to go. Redless awakens as if from a daze. He takes what would have been a breath, were he still alive, and breaks into a run. All right, well, let's fix that. You have no loot on you. Neither does the Chancellor. Empty perfume bottle. Empty perfume bottle with a lingering hint of an exceedingly beguiling scent. Your only desire is to keep sniffing it forever. Uh, I'm probably going to sell that. And then eternal artifact. I'm going to keep hold of these all on Scarbius because he's probably going to need them for something. Uh, Phoenix Dive, we've already got that. And some cash. Ancient Tome. Let's have a read of this. The Secret of the Gods. Oh, jeez. If you want to read this, pause the video now. And pause it again if you want to read the last bit. Because there's like parts of lore in this game that I just can't really be bothered with. Although that was apparently useful, so... The gods now seem like tyrants, feeding upon their worshipper's source, like their cattle raised to be slaughtered. Um, I get the feeling I should probably read that book for a change, but... Uh... 
You know, the gods must have their reasons. Besides the world they're giving to us is worth fighting for. The alternative doesn't bear thinking about. Looks like the corruption in the Divine Order goes even higher than we thought. Raised as cattle? Not at all. Cattle are worth so much more to their owners. This is callous, even for the seven. Oh, and apparently there's no voice for this one. One can't but feel somewhat taken aback by being treated as no more than a pawn, especially when one's the king on the board. Alright, I'm actually going to keep that with me. I'll read that after this episode. It's probably useful at some point. Um, Right, I'm actually going to come back up. Oh, hang on. Okay, these hovering things are actually all have loot in them, possibly, so... Uh, peace of mind scroll... There you go, Red Prince. Tome of the God Slayer. They've all missed a great many weapons and their origins. It is not a thickly paged book. However, it falls open to a page that has been clearly read and reread. It has been known by many names in many languages. Now it is called Anathema. A blade capable of killing the first target it touches, yet no more than that. A crystalline sword that could so much destroy a god, but would lie dormant forever and after. Now, Anathema was the weapon that that last god I actually had to fight a bit was actually after. I wonder if it's got anything to do with this, because they're looking for parts of the sword. There's a... Wait a minute. Good part of a sword after the spawn breaker. Okay, hang on a second. I have to check this now. Is it possible that... I may have actually got... I mean, it's probably more than two parts, but still. No. Okay, well, it was worth checking. Because, you know, good part of a sword. Who knows? Observations on the Universal Veil. That's probably another lore thing, so... Pause it now if you want to read it. There we go. Alright, what's this got? I don't know why I'm picking up the paper, because I don't actually do any crafting for scrolls. Tome of the Sworn Breaker. I, haven't I just read that? Yeah, that's actually the same item as it was in the other one. Alright. What else you got? Oh, Polymorph 5, nobody has that. Uh, Source Orbs. That's a crafting thing, which I don't have. Tome on the A-Tiran. Oh, the, hang on, what was that? Yeah, a Tyran. Complicated schematics on the fungus of the a Tyran. One drawing shows seven celestial beings bowing to the device. Hang on a minute. Right, there is actually someone who can read this stuff, for sure. Oh, same for you. Oh, well, it's worth checking. As for what this device is, I actually haven't found it yet. Alright, so... Let's have a quick trip downstairs. Oops. So, let's have a loot. A little bit of a loot trip. Money! Something that looks like... kind of piece of rock. A phase capacitor. I've got so many of those and I've yet to use any. Which kind of worries me a little bit. God. Am I supposed to be able to see that or not? Probably not. Okay. Camera's not supposed to go in there. Right. Like, I've got loads of phase capacitors. I don't know if me having so many is actually beneficial or if I only need, like, one or two. Because I've only, like, come across one right now that I've ever actually needed to use, which was bringing the, um... God, I've forgotten his name now. But yeah, the guy at the beginning, this place, that brought him back, like, online, so... Oh, did I just did I just teleport into a little section you can't move away from? Are oh, you idiot? Like, sometimes I have my very, very smart moments, but most of the time, I'm not a smart man. So, when I actually get back down here, while that's recharging, I'm going to have a look at this place, Temple of the One, but I think the next place I'm going to be going to is actually that huge... I don't really know what it is, but it's the same style of... I'm just going to call them robots for now, the same style of robots. Oh, okay, I actually missed that. Just have a check. Oh, I missed this one as well. Right, I'll get back to that. But first of all, let's have a chat with you guys again. Into each other's eyes, together at last. Tarion registers your presence for the first time. 
She smiles at you in gratitude. Smile back, they have your best wishes. Redalus gives you a nod of acknowledgement. You know they'll leave now for the Hall of Echoes. They turn to each other. Okay. Wow, okay. That was a significant amount of XP. Um, Lots of wits. Or... Um, I'll take the rune, actually. That might be useful, considering what it gives me. Alright, well, that was like a little mini side quest done and completed. See, I can be a nice person sometimes. Helping the dead, like, continue their love forever. Not that I really want to think about it, whether being a lizard, but, you know. Um, Owl Claw Blade. I wonder why it's actually giving me stuff like that. Because that's very clearly very low level for this place. Oh, hang on, hang on. Right. The lighting of this place is changing significantly now and then. Alright, hang on a second. Okay, so there's one of those here, which I'm guessing sends a beam to this thing, possibly. Which goes to this. Like this thing on the wall, which then goes into there, which then comes across to this one. Which goes... To that one? Hang on, is there anything else around here? Let's see, let's just follow the angles where it's looking at. I'm guessing this is actually a side thing here. Goes up to there. No, there's nothing there. Uh, facing the wall? No, nothing there. Facing that? No. See, it's reflector. Hang on. So actually saying that, surely it would actually go there. Because the light would come in from that thing, bounce off that, and hit this. I'm guessing it's got something to do with that button over there. Huh, but then that's just a general light on the wall. Okay, so it can come from here, somewhere, and bounce into here. Which, with it being a reflector... Uh, are there any more of those things around here? Like, I'm probably getting far ahead of myself. It probably needs to be me checking out something that's over here. Ah! An eternal Conductor. Oh. This is gonna hurt, isn't it? Oh, and suddenly the Great Wall appears. Okay, right. The Eternal Arbiter. Oh, that's actually not a very high level thing, is it? Okay, well, now we're actually all the way over here. There's no spirits there, but... Loze, Beast, and Sibyl. Ah! We've met you before, somewhere. That name is familiar. But... Beast and Loze, I don't know who they are. Now that's a lot of source energy. A lot. Okay, so the Temple of the One, obviously I can't go in here right now, but... This lever... Where is the hitbox for this? It's actually really awkward. Now I heard that... Hmm, alright, someone who's a lot stronger than I am. Hmm... Alright, well, there's only one place I actually know to go now. And it is all the way... What are you saying? Are there any other little places I can teleport to for some more loot? Doesn't look like it. Alright, well, we're going all the way down here. Oh, there's another one in here. Okay, hang on, hang on, hang on. I missed this one. There's actually a hole in the wall. Now, where does it go? Does it go to this thing in the middle? Look like it. Okay, so... That needs to change to that. That'll go through the wall to this, which goes where? So if light was reflected off that, it would either bounce off here and go... 
Uh, I don't think it would go in there. Let's have a look at other places this actually goes. See, stuff like this really does interest me. See, it goes to... Ah! Now, I looked at this earlier and just sort of kept away from it. It's like, well, it's an electricity thing. I'm just going to get shocked off of it, but... Can I actually use it? Strange device. What a strange device. Hang on, right. Does that do anything? What a strange device. No. Phase capacitor? That's actually eternal artifact. Okay, not a phase capacitor. That's a phase capacitor. Oh. So we can harness its power somehow. Oh. I guess either out of luck or that's just what a phase capacitor does. Because bear in mind, I saw some of these phase capacitors and they were just kind of like sat there like that. However, some of them were also electrified like that. Hmm. Also, why am I carrying that? There you go, Iphen. Okay, well, I think we've actually already managed to bounce this thing. Off that... Off that, and oh well. Yeah, I think that's obviously going the wrong way, or is it? Hang on. I mean, if it's working, it's working. So, have I just actually managed to fix this before even finding the beginning of the problem? Now, I'm going to guess this isn't going to work still. And is that because we need that? I mean, I've got plenty of these things. I can throw them around all the time. Okay. Nailed it. But, um... Yeah, we we do have a bit of an issue here, and that's the Eternal Arbiter. I, is, if, that, if that's the last boss, I still don't want to fight it yet. Uh, let's see. We've removed the barrier and can proceed into the temple. Right, okay. That is the final way on. Now I know that for sure. Because the temple goes into the arena. I am correct with that, right? Hang on. We need to fire our way into the temple, from there we can enter the arena. Right, okay. So we can enter the arena. But that means that we go all the way back down here to this portal, which I think I actually had to unlock this thing here. But yeah, that means that we would miss this if we went straight into the temple. So let's not do that. Let's check this place out once more. And I'm getting nervous already because you've seen how big this thing is. It's got an eternal reflector on it already. Now, what can we do in here? Because that electricity is going to come from somewhere. Oh, man. Oh, there's a lot more of these things than I thought. Does it come from you? It's chained in place, but I get the feeling it's just going to break out of that. Protectors, sensors. I've fought these things before, and they're problematic. They really are. You must. Um. Um. And okay, that's asking how it speaks. Uh, well, magic is a thing all over this place, so no. Um. Yeah, I've come a long way. I'm not leaving yet. You are not divine. You must leave or die. You can not win. 
Okay, someone else who's not talking to him right now. How screwed am I? Fully resistant to poison, weak to air. And okay, um... Is this something you have to go and fight after you become divine? I mean, it's the Great Guardian, and I'm guessing his buddies will join the fight. Um, I'm going to save it, and then I'm going to give this fight a go. But I don't think we're going to be able to beat this. But let's just spread out. And these things will be able to teleport. No doubt about that. Okay, so, in actually setting up my characters, I ended up starting the fight. So I actually just retreated everybody, seeing as he's all the way over there. And yes, these guys do actually teleport around, and they're going to have to be fought as well. Now, I'm guessing this Eternal Reflector can actually do something to him, but... Now, let's actually start the fight properly. So if it's just me... I want them to come to me, and yes, this door is closed, so I'm just going to back all the way up, and hopefully I'm not in range. Oh, that just ends the fight. Okay, so he's actually not in range over there, otherwise the fight wouldn't have started. Let's do that again, just, you know, not that far. Right, you just go back to there. And end my turn, right. Oh shit, he can actually move. To a limit, okay, right. Because I want to fight his buddies first. Because these guys are tough enough to beat anyway. Don't know where he's going. Alright. Seeing as no one's actually in the, the fight yet. Oh, no, I actually haven't seen any of this. So there's a reflector there. Where's it going to be coming from? So there's a reflector there and there. There isn't one over here. Alright, so... Iphen, are you in range yet? Because if you are, you're joining the fight. Alright. I'm actually going to cast this. It, mm, actually, that actually Scarbis is out of range. Never mind. Sky shot. Let's just go for it. You're in the fight. Okay. Fane. What is this weak to? It's a weak to air. What about this one? Weak to air. I think they're all weak to air because they're all like robotic things. Thing is, is, I'm pretty sure that I'm actually out of range of everything. Why has Fane taken damage? Well, there are no enemies nearby, so why not? Um... Let's see, can I actually hit anyone with this without getting too close? I don't think I can. Oh, and you're just in the fight anyway, okay. Oh, you actually get a bonus for that, okay. Um... In that case, then, if that's how far forward you can go... I'm going to just Phoenix Dive right there and get in front of Fane. Because, yeah, I know that put him right in the fight, but I kind of want that. Because I'll cover Fane a bit. As for the rest of stuff coming my Oh, God. Okay, Fane's going to have to go for that one. It's got tons of armor. So has that one. Its magic armor is weaker, whereas for this thing, its physical armor isn't that bad. So... Um... Let's cloak and dagger forwards. So we can get quite a bit of distance on that. And... Oh, you can actually climb up these, okay. For one action point, I can get... Uh... In fact, if we can bring him lower down, that technically means Iphen is a lot higher than he is. Uh, I have four action points. Okay, um... There is actually a lot of dead people around me, which is going to be useful. So, first of all, 
bring you up. And then let's armor myself up for the two dead people. That's actually quite useful. And I'm going to end my turn with lots of action points. Uh, it costs one to blow you up, so let's just send you over there. And there you go. Oh, okay. I blacked out for a second there. What's he doing? Apart from wrecking the Red Prince. Oh, jeez. Laser rays. Okay, I did not know they had those. Good. Yeah, you just end your turn doing nothing. That's fine with me. He spends his entire turn getting over here. It's also fine with me. Right, Red Prince. Right, Iphen. This thing needs to die now. So you just do your thing. Okay, as for you, there's air damage to both of them. Okay. Water damage, so why not? Okay, you have. N yeah, he's. No, oh, they're both chilled. Okay. Uh, what effects does that actually do? Movement, dodging, water resistance, and air resistance. Okay, can I do any more water spells? Uh, I think I should do this. Blinded. That'll screw him up. I'd rather hit both of them, but if you can look at their location here. Yeah. Um. Okay, so that thing's like very close to being dead. Oh, Scarby's just kind of screwed up. Oh, well. See, this is why I gave him scrolls for this stuff. There you go for that. Uh, how much is Fane on? Fane's actually okay for now, so you can just... um. Actually, no, you know what's a lot better for you? Shields up, because that's so self only. And one action point. Uh, let's just try and get closer to this fight. And it's instantly my turn again. Am I missing something here? I must be missing something here, right. I'm also going to buff myself, because I kind of need it. Uh, provoke. Let's provoke these two. Now, fire is going to remove chilled, so I'm not going to do that. And my biggest damage dealer is you. Let's increase your willpower so you can actually act faster. Oh, God, these do a lot of damage. Oh, okay, right. Let's just try and get closer to this thing. And just hit him. Oh, he's so nearly dead. Oh, well, now he is. Okay. Um, these things, right. They don't like water damage, so... Ooh, that's good. Um, oh, I have one action point. Okay, well, does anyone need... Oh, Armour of Frost, yeah, people are kind of far away for that. Um, let's try and get a bit of distance on these things, at least. Oh, he's going to join the fight now, is he? Well, his fire buddy's dead. Oh, and he gets us both in the light. Oh, please don't tell me he got, oh, he got all three of us. Okay. That's not good. Right. That way, that thing's dead now. Um. Right, I might be able to finish this one off. So, uh, what's it weakest to right now? It's weakest to air damage. So... Um, which one is that? Okay, that's actually the next one, so... As unlikely as this is, I want it dead right now. So there we go. Okay, at least that's only hitting one person. And you missed on that one. And you're out of points. Oh, he's probably going to kill someone at this rate, though. Alright, Iphen. We kind of need it now, so... There you go. 
and who needs this the most? Oh god, he does. Right. I'm actually going to start work on actually saying this. I have to kill them faster at a time, okay. Air damage. And he's shocked. There we go. Bane's getting wrecked. On the plus side, he can actually repair both of his armor things now. Um. Oh, of course, it's going to take a long time to run now, isn't it? Let's get to there. I'm hoping the uh, the smoke cloud will block stuff here. Um. Let's see. Click the blind or air damage grenades. Fantastic. All right. Let's just hit you with this one. Okay, shields up. So glad I can actually cast that on someone like him. Okay, uh, as for these two, it's a difficult one. Okay, dodging is increased for nearby allies. I will take this. They're starting to melee me now, so I'll take an evasive aura. I'm also waiting for my other spells to recharge. So, okay, good. Oh. This line here has blocked sight on him. There's still the smoke here, it's blocked sight on him. He's kind of screwed him over, hasn't he? Kind of screwed himself over, hasn't he? Alright. I hope I can do more decent damage after this, but... And it's dead. Which means you and the tough guy. Here's the thing though, this thing is locked in place, which means as soon as I kill these guys, I'm going to back out, because why not? Um. Right, this thing doesn't like physical damage either, so we'll start with that, and we can get nice and close for one action point, and then deal some damage to him at least. Right, as for you, uh, let's just put a little line around everybody. And there we go. Alright, you've got no physical armor, and magic's not super useful to you right now. So we're going to turn... Oh. Am I just going to get hit for doing this? Maybe there, right. Red Prince. Okay, you're kind of unstunned right now. And you've got a turn after mine, which is good, right. Weakest to air, okay. Do I have any air spells? Yeah, let's not misclick this one this time, because of course this only affects enemies and not allies, so I can just put it right there. And here we go. Critical hit, nice. Oh look! He can't do anything except this. Hang on, actually, you know what? I'm actually going to battering ram just to make sure I don't accidentally hit anyone. Right, he's down on the floor. There we go, just make sure I actually hit him with this. You're kind of still stuck there. Although you're doing a lot of damage from that range, which is annoying. Alright, Scarbius. Can you finish him off? Well, you can. Now, I'm in a tough spot here, so I'm actually going to flee now. I've done the damage I want to do. Can it be the seven? Let's get out of here. So, Iphen's next. So, of course, this thing can't exactly chase me, can it? And you can flee. Although, Scarbius is now the last one in there, so as long as you survive this. Alright. And flee. And for now, I shall say, job done. We'll finish off that thing next episode.
And it ain't gonna be easy.